new insight into how Eric Harris died. An autopsy report from the state medical examiner outlines the cause and the drugs in his system when he was shot by a Tulsa County Reserve deputy. Two works for you, reporter Nathan Edwards, updating the breaking news that we first brought you on KJRH.com. Karen, the report confirms what we already know. Eric Harris's death was a homicide, but it also reveals that he was on meth and that he died from internal bleeding. There's no question that Eric Harris was shot, but what you don't see is what happened after. Mr. Harris didn't die from a loss of blood. He, he died from essentially suffocating on his own blood. Harris family attorney Dan Smolin reviewing the official autopsy for the first time. It says Harris died after a gunshot to his armpit. The bullet broke his ribs and collapsed his lungs. I think that that's consistent with the lack of care that Mr. Harris was shown after he was gunned down. Despite the findings, Robert Bates attorney Clark Brewster denies the report. It's critical to understand that the, the gunshot uh, probably didn't take his life. The ME report also reveals Harris was on meth when he was killed, contrary to reports from the sheriff's office back in April. Mr. Harris was under the influence of PCP. But tests revealed there was no PCP in his body. The sheriff's department based their statement on information they say they got from paramedics. They asked him what he had taken, and he said he had used PCP before this event took place. While there was meth in his body, Smollett says it's not a good reason for Bates to do what he did. If, in fact, Eric Harris was under the influence or had been using methamphetamine, okay, we treat that in America with treatment, not a bullet. The two news investigators reached out to the sheriff's office for comment. Their spokesman said he had not seen the report. Reporting Nathan Edwards, two works for you.